something completely fucking different to what you're used to. We're going to Orange and Armadale. Orange today, Armadale tomorrow, and you're going to be along for the whole motherfucking experience. It's going to be an absolute cracker. There'll be driving, there'll be more driving, there'll be extra driving, but I won't show you too much of that shit. I'll show you all the behind the scenes shit. It's going to be fucking fantastic. You're going to enjoy it. But I'm not the only person here. We've got Sam behind the camera. Hello, Sam. Good fucking on you. We've got a very special guest with us along for the journey, uh, and he should be here any moment now. Uh, Mr. Josh Wade, he should be uh, along pretty soon. Why don't we go and catch up with him? Hey, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen, listen. We're, we're not we're not vloggers, right? We're trying to cash in on it. Well, this isn't a vlog. This is more of a behind the scenes <laughs> doco. This is a documentary for the ages. Where's Louis Thoreau? I'm done on YouTube. You're, it's your fucking thing now. Take it. Go. I'm getting a fucking beer. There's no hot fridge. There's no hot fridge. What is this? Snow Cold's fucking express. This is fucking Auschwitz. Motherfucker. <laughs> Big motherfucker. Very good motherfucker. Oh, by the way, Matt. This is Matt, ladies and gentlemen. At home, Matt is our driver. He's a, he's a glorified mate, Uber mate driver. <laughs> Uber driver first, mate, third or fourth. We only ride in the best vehicles available, so I want to introduce you to my ride. It's alright, I guess. On the earth, then be the richest piece of shit in this whole universe that might come across. As okay, so after about 17 hours of driving, Red's got us here somehow safely. We're alive. There's some country roads. It got a bit, got a bit risky there for some fun times. I didn't record too much on the trip, and the reason is because fuck all happened. I know a lot of vlogs have travelling shit. I'll put a little bit of that in, but fuck. Most of it was just boring as shit. Anyway, we're currently picking up a spotlight for tonight's show. And, you know, where else would you pick up a spotlight but from uh, the local Orange Airport, uh, which is where Orange people store their... That's a bit racist. Where the people from Orange store their, uh, store their spotlights for stage shows. Maybe it's on top of one of their helicopters. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go suss it out because we're meeting a bloke here. He might be hiding in this shipping containers behind us. I'm not too sure, but it's freaking me out. So we were wondering when we come to town why Orange is called Orange, and Josh just told me it's because of the famous Orange shipping container, and we think we may have found it, Josh. Yeah, it's there. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm just like you would see. This is this is your first year doing this. This is me five years in, in the middle of a fucking airport next to an Orange shipping container. 35 degrees and you're wearing a jumper, yeah. yes. <laughs> you got you got the world at your fucking feet, mate. You got I've got Havianas at my feet. Yeah, right. Uh, sponsored? No, they're not sponsored. They're not sponsored. No, thanks for the free fucking thong. All right, so we thought we'd stop by uh, Orange Local City Council's uh, swimming pool. Unfortunately, she's a bit dry. Uh, Josh, we're we gonna go in for a dip or what? The wet season was rough here. Um... The wet season was 1934. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I tell you what, what a beautiful part of the world. Just this airport. We haven't actually seen the town yet. Oh uh, yeah, we, we drove right down to the uh, through the emergency gates. So if I'm going too far, I'm in the ambulance. Do we need to go to the runway? Uh, <laughs> See, this is what happens when Matt Reddy organises anything in life. Okay, it's right, fucked we're coming, we're coming up. Down. It's fucked up. That's what I meant to say. G'day, how you going? Hi. So? Uh, yeah, it's been a big day, big drive, but we're um, we made it here, so we're. There you go, mate. Oh, well, what's happening? Do you feel 20 uh, years old? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got oh. it. Oh, yeah, Reds is feeling 20 years old um, after today. How much room we got? Uh, we got. Uh, we can make as much room as we want. How big is it? You've got to get that blue box in. Is this for a light? This is for a follow spot. That's what you want. A follow spot? Oh, no, this is a regular spot. Uh, we'll just so behind me is typical Matt Reddy. He's okay. fucked up Sorry, the whole process, uh, and now he's trying to fix it moments from showtime. Normally in this situation you might be stressed, but we're used to it, because he fucks up constantly. I love Matt, but he's a fuckwit. It's like, yeah, it's like, it's, it's quite a bit like flying Jetstar, actually. Like, that must be such like a, um, just a freeing sort of thing, you can just get up in the air and fly basically wherever you want. Want to, yeah. So yeah. let's say you Amazing. want to go to, what would Brisbane Airport be? That'd be it. That'd be out. Well, yeah. What's this made of? Wood. Just laminated, laminated timber. 
Yeah. That, do you start this one with the big these ones, or is that like yeah, has, has that been out for a hundred years? No, no, they still got a tiger moth here. They still got to do oh, that. Really? Wow. Yeah. One go, one tank. Except your bladder won't last that long. Yeah. You know, so you, you land it more easy. But you can't really drop into the. You can't just put the window down a bit. <laughs> well, you can take a bottle with you. Yeah. Pour it at the window. Do that. <laughs> they do drug tests as well. Yeah. Right. They do breath tests. How do you get so pulled over in the air? Just like, <laughs> no, no, but you land. Just an F eighteen. Go on. <laughs> you land somewhere and there'll be a ramp check. Oh, to now and then, I get insecure from all of the pain. I'm so ashamed. It's always good to hang out with Josh, um, especially before a show. He keeps me calm. He keeps me sane. Um, Alan was a good man. He looked after us. He showed us uh, around. And now we're going to go. What are we going to do? Go to the hotel, probably grab something to eat, and um, the doors will be open, and the show will be, be half open. an hour fucking late. We'll yeah. get there, and it's all going to plan. So there'll be no microphone, but we'll make it work. We will make it work, yeah, just like that time in Ipswich. It's almost show time. We've got some Beethoven playing. Matt Reddy wants us to fire up, listen to some classical tunes. It's all fucking happening in the van. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, tonight in Orange is a night that Orange will never forget. Let me tell you that right now. For the 400, 500 people going along, it's a night they'll tell their grandkids and their grandkids will tell their grandkids. Can I just draw your attention to the beautiful um, artwork we have on the wall over here? Uh, some of Australia's finest cyclists. The Western Motor Fuck wins. Are you guys cyclists here? <laughs> no. Okay. Oh. So what, what was the... Yeah, yeah, the pa <laughs> painting. Um, it's a painting. Yeah. Did, did you put it out for the council pickup and no one wanted to pick it up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go. It's what you encounter on a Sunday morning on the roads in Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Someone's got PTSD from, <laughs> from a yeah. cyclist encounter. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Make sure he gets that jersey off. Do you want this back? <laughs> yeah, <it's... laughs> Who signed it? Boyd. Is it Boyd Cordner? Boyd Cordner, Newcastle yeah, Boyd. Yeah, yeah. Is he? Is yeah. It? Newcastle Boyd. He's better. No, no. Cool. Thank you. Cheers. Well, have a good night. Yeah. No worries. Thank you. making our way into the Orange City Bowling Club. It's very exciting. You right? You come for a laugh? Yeah? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, Fucking awesome. And then some. We came across from Canberra. You drove here from Canberra? Yeah, I drove. She just sat there going, we're almost there, we're almost Have there. Have you come to a show in Canberra before? No, I missed Jack. Oh, twice, three times. Well, yeah. enjoy the show. <laughs> yeah. Clean up my puddle and go. <laughs> <laughs> we always run into this guy. Mr. Snotbottom. Snotbottom, if you're watching this, mate, you fucking watch yourself. We're coming for you. <laughs> you guys have been great. Thank you. I'll see you after the show. Have a good night. I'm a very happy person at the moment. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> of course, if he was Australian, that would be a bomb. But... <laughs> foreskins, I hate foreskins, I was like, get fucked, bitch, I am a proud foreskin wearer, how dare you, I say, how dare you. So that's it, I'm off the stage, it was a pretty good set for me, it was one of the longest ones I've done, about 45 minutes, so just preparing that hour for my comedy tour, which is coming up very soon, so if you haven't already, check out my website, uh, all the ticket details will be on there very, very shortly. We're filming a video, a big video, just for the uh, tour announcement. So that's what we're waiting for. Uh, it's going to be around June, so if you're there then, make sure you get ready for that. G'day, mate. What about this bloke? He was having a good laugh, weren't you? Mate, I'm loving it. Yeah? Good I'm show? Loving it. Mate, fucking beautiful. And you had a beard too, fucking mate, earth. Can we get a photo take touching bits? No, we can't. Can we no, please? how dare you? Can we please? <laughs> This is uh, six years in the industry, doing stand up comedy since I was 17 years old, and I'm finally in Orange. Uh, <laughs> it's good to be here. Uh, and you like Matt? Yeah. Yeah, yeah fuck, he's a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> he's good. Angie, you're from Canberra. You've travelled all the way here from Canberra. You... <laughs> Everyone give Angie a round of applause. Angie. <laughs> I'm from New Zealand. I'm sorry. I don't often see hills in Australia. So, it's exciting. Hills are exciting. Um, 
Uh, is there anything else you saw that, that tickled your fancy? Hmm? <laughs> you all killed the bad ones! Do you want to sit down? <laughs> now, this is the first episode of Orange Married at First Sight. <laughs> now, what are you looking for in a man? <laughs> uh, don't point. No, no, no names. 18 years my junior and full of fucking goodness. <laughs> um, Matt really needs a haircut. <laughs> so you've already... We've, okay, hey, 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 eyes, eyes up here, eyes up here. <laughs> Charlene, what, now what are you going to do tonight? What's happening tonight? Grabbing one off. We're not in Kansas anymore, son. <laughs> if I owned this microphone, I would have dropped it then. What colour eyes you got? What did I got? What? What colour eyes? Oh, blue. Why'd you have to think about that, did you? <laughs> this is not planned. You can't plan this shit. And if you could, no, yeah, you can go. <laughs> you can't plan this shit. Um, it, the right, we need a line. We need, we need some order here, Samuel. We need some fucking order. I'll tell you that right now. This is an outrace. Of course we can. Yes, A very nice mother just asked me to sign a coaster for her 10 year old son. Listen, if your 10 year old kids are watching my videos, parenting, ladies and gentlemen, 101, don't fucking do it. But they're gonna grow up to fucking legends, I'll tell you that right now. Here's the man of the moment who's been filming all this just before the camera rounds out. Samuel, how you doing? You're a good man, mate. Thanks, fucking on fire tonight. You. Have a go at him. Killing it. Any last words to the camera before it runs out of battery? It's a great night, great show. Well done. Fucking nice. Orange, you're amazing. Yeah, Off to Armadale tomorrow. Shout out to Orange. Uh, Big drive to Armadale. What's six hours or something? But we'll see you guys in the morning. Yeah. Let's do a fucking fully sick vlog style transition. This one. Oh hi there. Ugh. It's now the morning, the night after the Orange gig, and um, I've just woken up. I certainly haven't already been up and set up the camera, got changed, all of those type of things. That certainly hasn't taken place yet. And this is what I do on the road all the time, is I like to get a good, solid workout in. And I'm going to show you guys my uh, solid workout from when we are away, so let's give that a crack now. So it's very important, especially when you're travelling, to make sure you exercise. It really kickstarts your metabolism in the morning, and it keeps your brain firing, it keeps you strong mentally while you're away, because all this travelling, all this type of stuff, all the beers, all that type of shit, can really bring you down. So. This is my workout. So uh, here, here it is. It's a bit of a long one. What? Oh! All right, we're ready to go. Let's do it. <clears throat> right. So breakfast done. Smash some bacon and eggs. Fucking oath. I've had a shower. I don't stink anymore. I don't fucking reek. Um, and now I think the room's all packed up. I'm pretty sure it is anyway. And yeah, we probably should have a proper look though. Let's go and have a look what the boys are up to. By the way, I've got a little stamp on my wrist. You probably think that, oh, he went to a nightclub last night. No, that's from the buffet at the club last night, which was the scariest food I've ever had. I haven't died from it yet, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Anyway, we'll go see what the boys are up to. All right, I know I said I was going to show you when we got out. Yeah, what's on the seat here? Fucking cockroach. What? Take yeah, a photo. Dead cockroach. Okay, so we've got a cockroach in. We've got a cockroach in the back of the bus. Josh has got a friend up the back. How big is it? It's bigger than my cock. I'll tell you that much, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, could it get worse? 
Said she only got hundreds in her purse. So my loose change love boy, it never gonna work. Worst part is she don't care. Right, always important to empty your bladder, but remember, this is especially for the gentleman, two shakes, that's good. Three shakes, you're playing with it. Right? Don't do that in the side of the road. I learned that the hard way. Well, I did four and I nutted, you so. Good Have you got hot dogs on your socks? Yes, I sure do. I should play like a little dramatic panning shot here. Tap, tap and slide. Tap, tap and slide. So we hit the floor. Tap, tap and slide. Tap, tap and slide. Sam Lindell, how was your wee? Very good, thank you very much. Good night. 100 k's down, 500 to go. Let's go. It's your girlfriend's favorite song. Man, we going on and on. Yeah. She ain't never felt this wrong. Had one day, yeah. she came right back. Yeah. I'm fresh, I'm clean. Your ex man whack. I got the yeah. things you think he yeah. lacks. So tap and So we sort of forgot to vlog any of this or film it because fucking hell, that door nearly fucking killed me. We forgot to film a lot of this shit because it was fucking boring. So if you want to know what we got up to over the last like 12 hours of driving, it was basically me sitting there, very still, blaming Matt for his shit driving, carrying on like a pork chop, poor music choice, and general body odour. <laughs> it wasn't too bad, but it was alright. And Sam, what did you do? You slept? Yeah. He slept, Sam slept, Josh slept. But I can't sleep in cars because I'm a big scared human. I'm a big scaredy cat. Especially when you're driving. Because it is terrifying. Another hour and a half and we'll be in Armadale. Very exciting. Wow! <laughs> we picked up some snacks from the servo. I got some Pringles, which is very exciting. Josh picked up some. What did you get? Some dim sims? Some nuts. Some nuts. Um, but my, my question to you, Isaac, because whenever I'm on the road, I don't mind a Chico roll. Now, they're fucking disgusting. I don't know what's in them. It's like shit in a deep fryer, but... Do, would you... Can, have you had a Chico roll? I've had a Chico roll. roll. Do you like them? At the footy. Do you like them? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. You finish a Chico roll, Having a Chico roll is like having a wank. It's mm. great while you're having it, and at the end, you're covered in oil. What? <laughs> <laughs> and you're a mess, and you think to yourself, why did I do that? Well, I'm at work. I had a revelation. Uh, Chico roll is just an Asian, is an Australian spring roll. It's literally just a spring roll in batter. Well. So, there's a lot of time to think today, and, you know, you come up with these things. I'm going to go and enjoy my salted nuts in the back of the car, but it's been good touring with you, and um, yeah, I can't wait to perform to the... Are you trying to cheese me? Four, cheese four and a half me? people in fucking Armadale tonight. Well, there you have it folks, that's why you like and subscribe, because you learn amazing facts about life, just like that. We're off to Armadale for the final leg of the journey, I can't wait to get back in this car that goes about 30 k's an hour, it's going to be real fucking fun. Farewell. So we made it to Armadale, thank fuck, because that was the longest journey of my entire life. I'm pretty sure Burke and Wills knocked it over quicker than we did, but anyway, we're here. And there's not one person on campus. Aside from us, obviously. So we're trying to work out what's going on. We're at the Stro, which is short for the Bistro, which is very inventive. Well done, Armadale. Killing it. Um, trying to find out what's going on and where the fuck everyone is. See, we've been in the car all day. We haven't been listening to the radio. What if there's been some massive, like, horrible disease outbreak and everyone's died? It's a waste of all our time, yeah. but it's a pleasure oh, to meet you. Is this a promotion? No. 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 It's not going well if it is. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. Yeah. Same to you, mate. Good luck in... Good luck whatever you do in your life, son. <laughs> we ever see you again. We'll never see him again. No. It's a funny thing about this travelling life. Just hit a fucking montage, Isaac. Here's a montage of me at, at uh, the Caltex yesterday. Tap and slide. So we found our way to our hotel motel Holiday Inn. It's pretty flash, as you can see. They've got uh, all the latest amenities. Like Foxtel. Sign. How many stars? Three and a half it stars. They've removed the fourth. I don't know what happened. Someone must have got shot or something. All right, I don't want to alarm anybody. Hungry Jacks is currently on fire. So is that place over there? What's going on? There's a fire in Hungry Jacks. The flame and whoppers have fucking destroyed the joint. 
Hey, now, just quickly, if you're out there and you've watched American Horror Story Freak Show, that's where we're fucking going. <laughs> so this is why we've driven 18 fucking hours to come in. I don't know why, but here we are. So we found the uh, the Irish jig. It is St Patrick's Day today when we're filming this. So we got an Irish jig going on. This is pretty cool. Probably have a pint of Guinness later on, Reds. Maybe. Maybe not. It tastes like shit. No offence to my Irish people. I've only ever had it once. Maybe I should try it again. Maybe I, maybe we'll have a pint tonight. I don't know. I'm not a one for fairs. Josh had a good time though, he went on the Ferris wheel for a bit. Got a few lolly straps. I didn't do any of that. I'm trying to make content here, mate. Oh, right. How was the Ferris wheel? Good. It's the greatest one that I've been on. The best one what you can get. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, I don't even know. Imagine doing this every you day. Kylie Minogue. Here we are, Armadale Bowling Club. This is where the venue is tonight. They've got a really nice theatre sort of set up in there. We're going to go check that out now. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the program. On this episode we have Matthew Reddy. Oh, Matthew. Very good. I had my hand that you're supposed to hit your hand off but sort of hit it. You grab him by the hair and you like that. Or, or, it's, or it's this. Nah, nah. I don't want to hit you. Or, or really if you're going to do it you'd hit him and if you hit him in the face it's more of a so you let go. Oh, it's a really limp fist, so it's like that. Yeah. I don't know. Do you reckon I could hit you in the head? Yeah, go. No, no you fucking actually hit me in the shop. Okay, good. Okay, go. Oh. That really <laughs> fucking hot. How are you right. feeling? You feeling good. This is exciting. We're at Armadale Bowling Club behind us. We've just done the sound check. We're going home for a quick tub or a shower because uh, my dick stinks and we need to sort that shit out immediately. But it uh, should be a really good crowd tonight. It's very exciting, Armadale. Oh, we haven't been here in about a year, so uh, let's fucking do it, bro. It's going to be sick, are And there's Matt. He's having a good time. He looks de 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 just looks dishevelled. Matthew looks absolutely dishevelled after an eight-hour drive. Josh is ready to go, though. I look like I've just walked straight out of a fucking bon Blondie film clip. <laughs> <laughs> What's in love? And it was a gas. Red has found a gate, which is going to cut, I think, about half a minute off our trip, which is exciting, because our hotel is right next to the uh, pub itself. Let's do it. Well, let's do it. We're on our way to the venue right now, which is right next door, which is very exciting. Josh has scrubbed up all right. I'm going half decent myself, and we're walking in there scrubbed now. Scrubbed up all right? I'm wearing what I fucking wore last night. He's looking beautiful. He's washed everything. He's ready to go. Um, so we're going to go through the uh, very glamorous rear entrance. Show business. Show business, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Dark alleyway. Someone's going to get pregnant or we're about to go to a show. Both. Or, or both. <laughs> or both. Stealing that extra cow. Please. There's no... Oh, look at them. They're going wild. How you feeling, man? Good. Pumped. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I reckon you just do the... Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and welcome your MC, Matthew Reddy. Get ready, get ready. He's got about 25 seconds intro. Tell me where to go. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time! Please, get your fucking shit lost for your MC of the evening, all the way from Sydney, Australia, Matt Reddy! I stole your beer. I was the one who stole your beer. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I'm like that. 
Yeah, fuck you, Caitlin, you fucking Bruce looking fuckface. <laughs> How dare you, you stupid bitch. Cyclists can fuck off too. Yeah. Yeah. Cyclists can suck my ass for breakfast. Fuck those cunts, seriously. That was fucking, that was good fun. Small crowd, but vocal, happy. Fucking know, Josh is going to kill too. That was 31. Reds, 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 Reds are doing no material in between. He's just going to bring him up. Last show of the little tour, and that was fucking fun. Matt Reddy, absolute legend. Josh Wade, oh, John. <laughs> that was a camera. what an absolute legend. <laughs> That's fucking fantastic. We're gonna get some photos with all these uh, young, fine people. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so after another 30 hour journey in the van, we are back in civilization. It was a fucking cracking weekend, and I hope you enjoyed the video. We might do some more of those as my tour gets underway in a couple of months. So if you haven't already, make sure you sign up for my website. It's www.isaacbutterfield.com. And uh, how did we go, Josh? That was a good weekend. Pretty fucking good. It's great. I've been changing my clothes all weekend. My asshole stinks. Um, but, you know, we made some cunts laugh, and yeah. That's about it. <laughs> fucking oath, my dick stinks too. It was a fucking absolute cracker, so make sure you come out and see me when I'm going around the country, and Josh will be going around as well. You can see all his stuff at his website, which is something similar to mine. Not really, it's, what is it, it's cunny.tv. Cunny.tv, check it out, motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East, be a good motherfucker. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like button, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, etc. You know, fucking good on you, champion. Appreciate your time and your efforts. Au revoir. <laughs>